We're in the greenhouse and you can see the bottom leaves of these tomatoes and they're about three feet high. So organic tomatoes. You can see the bottom leaves have some spots on them. That's early blight. And um, what is happening here, they're slightly potassium deficient and uh, the uh, potassium is being taken out of these leaves by the plant, brought up the stem, and, and is supporting these blossoms and other top growth. And um, uh, this, this fungus, which was beneficial to this plant, when it was healthy and had enough potassium, it was beneficial fungi on these leaves and it was uh, helping the plant keep other disease off these plants, airborne disease. But when the plant shut down these bottom leaves and transferred the potassium out, the uh, fungi became cannibalistic and is starting to uh, clean this plant up. In other words, uh, kill it off completely and um, it's Mother Nature's way of, of taking out uh, plant material that is not fit and is not healthy and uh, the plant is sacrificing the lower leaves for the upper leaves which will produce fruit and uh, we can stop this from happening by adding potassium and calcium um, in sufficient amounts um, right from the day we plant or very soon after uh, we, we, we start feeding this crop with potassium, calcium, phosphorus, uh, molasses, uh, sea crop, etc, etc. And uh, as you know tomatoes like to grow uh, 12 inches per week and as a, as, a, as a requirement of this growth, they're very hungry. They eat all the time. We need to feed them all the time. Feed them nutrition. They're like growing teenagers. You've got to feed them. They have an appetite and for a reason. And uh, you'll have healthy plants as a result. You'll have thick stems. Look at the stem thickness on these. These will support lots of nutrition going up these stems into these tomatoes and uh, and that's that's what you want you want healthy plants uh, and, and you'll have more uh, blooms more fruit set per plant and uh, you'll have uh, heavier weight per tomato better grade of tomato and uh, you'll make some money for your uh, your labor and a lot of satisfaction because you will not have any disease in your greenhouse you can stop disease by having sufficient nutrition you can stop insects by having sufficient nutrition high bricks high sugar levels high mineral levels to stop insects and and with high mineral and high high sugar levels you have flavor and you have a, a, a density of nutrients which makes your tomatoes, for instance, heavier. So if you're selling them by weight, you make more money per, per tomato and you have more taste, more nutrition, and uh, you'll have more demand. And that's the way to have a future, folks, in food production. Thank you.